Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday on FIFA Ultimate Team. We have got some stuff to talk about today in terms of what content could come on this Friday in Foot. The season is ending. Are we going to get a new season, uh, new objectives, new SBCs, new content? And of course, is this actually the last week in League? Because earlier, I was not thinking that it would be. It didn't make sense to me, at least. But you know what? A lot of stuff right now at the end of the game just seems like free will, like whatever EA wants to do, they're just kind of going off the charts and doing it uh, with a lot of the SBCs we've gotten, objectives, and you know, even with this promo, the preseason promo that they promised us uh, top transfer content that we haven't seen yet, but it does honestly look like this might be, starting in five hours when I record this, this might be the last weekend league because there is no other weekend league in the schedule right now. Now, of course, this could update over the weekend. Uh, they could add another weekend league after this still. I think like up until Wednesday or Thursday of next week, I guess, it's possible that they might have forgotten to add the next week's weekend league. But this is the thing, man. Um, this I, I can see one or two things happening, right? If this is the last weekend league, which it's honestly looking like that it is, um, I feel like a little bit of communication ahead of time would have been nice. I feel like uh, number one scenario from EA today, what they might do is when they tweet out the new content stuff at 6 p.m. UK, they might say, hey, this is also the last week in league. We're going to take a break, blah, blah, blah. You know, this is going to be the last one. Tell us that like a week ahead of time, you know, or two weeks ahead because maybe somebody wanted to play the last week in league of the year and they hadn't played for a while. They wanted to use a team, but they didn't have the, the foot champions points built up to do it. You didn't really give anybody time to do that now. So I guess you do all the time you have is until, uh, what is it? 24 hours after foot champions opens is when you can redeem. Uh, so I guess if you want to play the last week in league and get rewards next week, uh, you have one more opportunity to do that. At least it looks like right now. So yes, it does look like this is the last week in league of foot champions contrary to what I thought was going to happen. You know, it doesn't honestly make sense that they stopped the weekend league with two left, two weeks left inside of a promo that has special weekend league rewards. Uh, but it is what it is, and EA can do whatever they want. And it's basically September, so we move, whatever. Anyways, uh, today, let's talk about content again today on Friday because it's also a big day in terms of what's going to be coming out, right? I think, boys, we might actually see top transfer content, but I honestly think it's going to be very, very underwhelming. And I'm going to talk to you about that in a second. First, let's talk about this, right? Footwatch added some pack code. It's just loan tots players. That's all. We're going to get five more team in the season loan players today. Number one thing that this tells me though, as is that we are going to get some uh, new objective that is going to be added to the foot central objective side, whether it's a season objective um, I would imagine that it's probably a season objective related to like foot 21 rewards. So if you guys have been grinding these, like the top tier team of the season objective from last week was a W. I really have not done anything with this this week. I literally do just have zero motivation to grind that game at this time, which is totally fine if you're right there with me. No shame, right? Um, but I would expect another sort of type of objective this week where you have to play with team of the season cards. Kind of like this one from last week. Uh, something related to team in season so far since they're giving us a loan pack. And then that will somehow relate to either a FIFA 21 pack, FIFA 21 low player, FIFA 21 kit, or something, right? So that's going to have some sort of impact uh, today. I would expect one of those objectives. And this is the other big question. Are we going to get another season? Because a lot of you guys are saying, yo, season eight is just about over. You know, 15 hours from now is when it will end, and that's 6 p.m. UK on Friday. Are we going to see new season objective cards? This is my opinion, right? There's so little time left in this promo. I don't know if EA can do a full season. Now, I know that this season you didn't need that much XP. I don't think you needed as much as normal. Maybe you did need the same amount. I don't really look at season stuff a lot. I wasn't trying to get Martial, Bernardeschi, or Emre Chan. So I wasn't really looking at these objectives to try and grind them. But um, if there's two weeks left in this promo, I've, we've had a two-week season before. So I guess te technically EA could say, hey, we're going to make this promo. We're, we're going to make this a two-week season and maybe give you know t some more players in the uh, season tab and we'll still have the season objective players 
uh, and we'll still have all of this stuff in here and the storyline players I'm honestly thinking that if uh, if weekend league is ending I think that the seasons would probably end as well and then this might just become maybe they'll have like a RIP FIFA 20 season I, I don't know man it, it's honestly I don't think many people care that much because the cards that they're putting back here in seasons, like, do you really want to grind that hard? I mean, if you're a United fan, maybe you grind to get to get this Martial, but it's freaking September. This maybe this Bernard Deshi, maybe the Emery Chan if you're a Dortmund fan. But honestly, if they're gonna do something in seasons, it's gotta be good cards. There's gotta be good packs, and um, it's it's gotta be easy to do because again, it's just this late in the year, so it it better be easy. Whatever they do for the object for the season today. So honestly, I think there's either one of two things. One number one option is they don't do weekend league. We, this is the last weekend league. They don't do another season and they're basically just cutting off part of the game and it's really going to like get super dead really fast in terms of gameplay and grinding that if you're still doing that in this game. Uh, and option two is they do a two week season that will end at the same time as the preseason promo. Because of course, as you can see down here, best of pack players are available for 14 days and that's basically when like the preseason promo ends as well so that's kind of what i would expect from those things one of those two options right there okay now let's talk about top transfer content because i think i've come on this youtube channel for like the last two weeks and i've said yo top transfer content is it going to be coming what are we going to see is it going to be hype? I, I talked about like every single week. I talked about the possibility of giving a, a Timo Werner, right? A Chelsea version of a Timo Werner team of the season card. How sick would that be if we got this card on Chelsea, the ZH card on Chelsea? You know, that's what I've been saying for the past two weeks. This is what I want to talk about. And I want to reread this with you and realize that we probably have been hyping this up too much for the past amount of time. Throughout preseason, well, we're towards the end. We'll be showcasing a selection of the most exciting moves of the summer with special player items in Foot 20, released for those players after they land the new clubs. Special player, special player items is the only thing that catches me after seeing this. These are the new players that were added into FIFA 20. Look at this date, right? 827. That is yesterday. Thursday, so many of these players were added and updated. Rafinha, Barcelona, Regulon, this card with Real Madrid. Of course, Leroy Sané, Odegaard, Ariola, Ceballos kind of leading the list. And as you go down this list, I mean, it gets pretty pretty dead pretty quick. Harry Wilson, Liverpool. Maybe you Liverpool fans are pumped about that. But look how many silvers and bronzes are added to this list, man. This is kind of like what they did with the winter refresh promo this year is they just basically added a bunch of cards that switched teams and it was basically like silvers and it was you know like really kind of a dead promo like the way they did the winter refreshes from last year or from earlier this year in fifa 20 i feel like our top transfer content at the very like lowest level if ea is really done with this game and they're not focusing on it at all and they don't want to give us anything cool all they're going to do is drop these new cards in the game and say hey there's new top transfer content for you there it is thumbs up ggs like that could be the possibility of our top transfer content that we've been thinking about uh for the past like month that we could get something cool now again the only reason why i still have some form of optimism is special player items now of course what would i love to see i would love to see a leroy sane like some sort of Leroy Sané special card or some sort of Martin Odegaard transferred to Real Madrid special card boosted just above his team in the season. That'd be dope, right? Leroy Sané is a perfect candidate to get another special card as a part of this promo. He doesn't have a team in the season. Of course, a lot of people use this moment Sané card. Of course, when he had his, uh, his Manchester City links, but if they gave him like a 94 rated left wing on Bayern, People would do that SBC, right? That'd be kind of hype. You know, your Bayern fans would enjoy that. I don't know what card design they would use. There's no like top transfer card design that's in the code, but that'd be cool. If they made it an objective, if they made it an SBC, EA Sports, please do something like that, right? I'm telling you, just, hey, this guy, he would draw some hype. People are looking forward to see him playing for Bayern. They're going to be freaking stacked even more, more than they were before. Please do that EA Sports, all right? Use my ideas. Thank you. Anyway, uh, that is kind of the, the opportunities I see for the top transfer content uh, today on this game and what we could see. Last thing, 
a lot of my guys have been saying, when's the 89 rated five rare players pack coming out? Again, today is a Friday where we could possibly see that pack come out. Is it going to happen? Honestly, I feel like the chances of that are slim to none. But again, every time with those types of packs, when I say they're not coming out, EA finds a way to drop them. We've been asking for that pack long enough now for like, what, two weeks since it's been added to the pack code. I think it's been like two weeks since it's been added. Uh, we might just get that pack today. We might just end up getting that pack because EA is sick and tired of people on Twitter saying, hey, where's this 89 rated five rare players pack? And they're probably like, yo, you guys actually care about that in August or September? And then the other people respond, yeah, we do. So we'll see, boys. All right. We might get that pack today. We might not. Uh, we got, we, we keep getting like the 90 plus picks, the 90 plus upgrades. Um, I think we have had the same upgrade packs for the last two weeks with the 92 plus tots, the 90 plus double upgrade and the 90 plus upgrade. So uh, if they wanted to add another one, they could add uh, the 89 rated five rare players pack today. If that is something they wanted to do. Uh, if you're still grinding the menus, again, big shout out and GG's to you. I mean, talking investing wise, I don't know how many of you guys are still trying to make coins on this game, uh, but high rateds are, you know, still kind of chilling, right? If that 89 rated five player SPC does come out today, it's probably going to, it's probably going to run you an 86 or 87 rated squad. I think you're going to see the 86s go up for that. Um, you know, 87s might even go up for that as well if that happens. So if you're somebody who's going to watch the content today, uh, when it does get released, you know, there are people with a lot of leaks and stuff, so they'll probably be on the rise before 6 p.m. if that SBC is coming. But hey, uh, you know, if that's something you're interested in, you're trying to make some coins, if the 89 rated 5 plus does come out, those are going up. 83s are expensive still. They're 7.5K. I don't really know if those are going to go up that much more. They've been 10,000 coins before, but it would take more SBCs and something pretty hype and pretty repeatable, honestly, um, or something really massive. For those to keep going up because we've gotten tradable pack supply the past couple days between some SBCs, right? Like I think um, the KDB packs are all tradable. Everybody's been doing those and that does affect the market. This preseason challenge was tradable. Uh, I think, well, this preseason challenge was untradable uh, that we got today, uh, but we could get another preseason challenge SBC uh, for tradable supply on the packs on a Friday today as well. But honestly, boys, there's not a ton to talk about. Uh, it's just kind of the end of FIFA, man. And I'm so kind of surprised that I'm still sitting here making this video, but it is what it is. All right. Good luck for you guys. I hope for some sick transfer content today. Uh, we will see what happens with seasons. And if you're playing in weekend league this weekend, good luck to you because it does look like it is the very last one ever. I was thinking about participating with a full set full Spurs side, but I'm probably not going to end up doing that because I played one game of Rivals today, got triggered because of DDA, and that was a nice reminder for me to stay off FIFA 20, to enjoy the, the cards that I have, just the Panini, and rinsing the rest of my clubs or cards into upgrade packs, not cards, but coins. All right. So again, boys, thank you for watching this video today. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.